Hey guys, it's Luton here and I'm back for another episode of Cutting Room and today we're on Final Cut Pro X and what I have is a small technique for you just to make compound audio clips. Now what does this mean? Well you can see right here on this gameplay that what I have is several stacked up audio clips and what this is is the Battlefield sort of heartbeat sound effect and uh, it only is a small little clip of audio. Okay, so when we play it right here you'll see the music rolls on from one section to the next. So what in effect I've done is just kind of fade these sections together, okay? Now, if you then wanted to put this into a new video, okay, and maybe multiply up, which is what I wanted to do for a separate video, that's kind of annoying. So you take these four clips right here, I'm just going to copy these over to a blank new video right here that I've set up. So here's a new video, and I'm just going to paste these clips in. Uh, and obviously the time is a little bit different. Now, say for example, this runs up for right now to about 30 seconds of these four clips. But if I want that sound effect to run through more, you know, more of a video than 30 seconds, it's going to be kind of annoying, because I'm going to have to keep posting it like this. Yeah? And it's going to be a huge mess if you've got video on top of that, maybe text and other things. It's going to be really messy. You don't want that. It's going to be aggravating. And if you have to move it around, it's going to be a massive pain in the ass. So what we're going to do is simply select all of those clips. And then we're just going to right click. And we're just going to go new compound clip. Or you can always do alt G as well. And this will make a new compound clip for us. And there you are. That's your compound clip of the whole audio piece. And you can see that that now fades very, very well together. And then if I want to copy this up and roll it forward into the rest of the track, I can easily do that. And this little uh, thing here just allows you to fade ends of sequences onto one another. go. So now that fades perfectly onto the next piece of audio and then you could just go on and on. If you really wanted to, you could combine these two together as well, but considering it's 30 seconds, depends how long your video is and what you want to do with it. But anyway, that's how you can create compound audio clips in Final Cut Pro X. It's just a great way of keeping your sound effects, you know, and, and any kind of music that you create or audio that you combine much more tidy. And it also means that, as you can see, you save it into a folder. So now I have that audio clip. If I want to save it off onto something else, etc., etc., And uh, you can even export these if you wanted to import or do other things with that piece of audio as well. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions about other things, please let me know, and I'll try and answer them as best that I can. See you next time.